Hi everyone, let's dive straight into the problem today. Mr. James bought a total of 50 fountain pens and gel pens. Each fountain pen cost $6 and each gel pen cost $5. If the cost of the fountain pens was $47 more than the gel pens, how many fountain pens did he buy? And find the total cost of all pens that he bought. So we will be using a table method or tab tabular method to find out this by trial and error, but with a proper approach. So first, let's draw a table with the following columns. Number of fountain pens, total number of fountain pens, the cost of that, that number of fountain pens, number of gel pens and the cost of the gel pens, and the difference in cost between the fountain pens and the gel pens. We are what we are trying to do is first guess and check. So assuming there are 50 fountain pens and gel pens, the total uh, of the fountain pen and gel pen is 50. So initially let's assume that we had he bought 50 fountain pens, which means the number of gel pens would be zero. So 50 fountain pens and the cost of the fountain pens, we know the cost of one fountain pen is $6. So 50 times six, which gives $300. Number of gel pens, as we assumed, it's going to be zero, so the cost is zero. The difference in cost between the fountain pens and the gel pens is 300 minus zero, which is 300. Just take note that this difference in cost has to be $47 for our answer to be correct. So now what we do is, okay, we, we know that we are way off from $47, so let's decrease the number of fountain pens by one, say 49 fountain pens. The cost is 294 and one gel pen because the 49 plus one is equal to 50. The total number of fountain pens and gel pen should be equal to 50. And cost of gel pen is one times five, which is $5. And the difference in cost is $281. We see that, okay, the to difference in cost is decreasing which is good because we need to keep on decreasing until it becomes 47. So let's try one more, 48, reduce it by two. The cost of that is 48 times six is two, double eight. And now the gel pens become two. So two times 10 is, or two times five is uh, $10. So the difference is now 278. We can continue on like this, right? Until the difference becomes 47. That's one way. We can just go ahead and keep writing, but that will be slightly lengthy process. So we want to ha find a shortcut way of finding out how many are there in here. So what we have to observe here is from 300 to 281, right? When you decreased one fountain pen and increased one gel pen, what happened? The difference reduced by $11. Similarly, again, when you decreased one fountain pen and increased one gel pen, the difference again reduced by $11. So every time you decrease this and increase this, you have a difference of $11, and this will get you towards your final uh, difference, which has to be $47. Now, if you want to find out how many 11s we have to jump, which will be equal to how many gel pens, because every time the gel pen becomes plus one, plus one, plus one. So first plus one is here, second plus one is here, so two, three, four. So if you want to get find out that, what we can do is, let's see what is the difference between 300 and 47. The difference between 300 and 47, this total entire amount is 253. And we know that we are jumping every time 11, all right? So how many 11s are there? Which is the same as how many gel pens are there? So 253 divided by 11 gives us 23, which means the number of gel pens or the number of 11s, which is the same as the number of gel pens, is 23. And the question is, how many fountain pens did he buy? So if this is 23, the number of gel pens is 23, we know that the totally we have 50 pens. So number of fountain pens is 50 minus 23, which is 27. Now find the total cost of all pens that he bought. From now it's quite easy because we know the number of gel pens and the number of fountain pens. We also know their cost. So 
the total cost of all pens that he bought is equal to 23 which is the number of gel pens times 5 which is the cost of one gel pen and plus 27 which is the number of fountain pens times 6 which is the cost of a fountain pen so that comes to this the result is 277 dollars hope this was easy now let's move on and try to solve the same problem using algebra mr james bought a total of 50 fountain pens and gel pens each fountain pen cost six dollars and each gel pen cost five dollars if the cost of fountain pens was 47 dollars more than the gel pens how many fountain pens did he buy and find the total cost of all pens that he bought so in first we know that the total number of pens fountain pens and gel pens is equal to 50 but we don't know how many fountain pens are there how many gel pens are there so let the number of fountain pens be x that's an assumption and let the number of gel pens be y and we know that totally there are 50 so that will form our first equation x plus y equals 50 now the difference in cost is 47 meaning that 6 dollars is the cost of one fountain pen and x is the number of fountain pens so 6x would give you the total cost of all fountain pens similarly 5y will give you the total cost of all gel pens and we also know which is higher the cost of fountain pens was 47 dollars more than the gel pens that is 6x is more than 5y and by how much it is more by 47 dollars so this is bigger and this is more than 5y by 47 so if i want to create an equation here what i can do is add 47 to this so that the right side becomes equal to the left hand side so that forms an equation now the next step is move this 5y to the left of the equality symbol 6x minus 5y is equal to 47 that's our second equation now we are going to use uh, elimination method basically we are going to add or subtract the first equation with second equation so that we can find the values of x and y so in this case i can see here is 6x and 5y if i want to make this y let's say equal to this i have to multiply this whole equation by 5 so times 5 is 5x plus 5y is 250 that's the effect of multiplying 5 to this equation and now we write down the second equation below 6x minus 5y equals 47 now when we talk about adding these two when we add these two 5x plus 6x will be 11x and 5y minus 5y gets cancelled so 0 and 250 plus 47 is 297 now x is equal to 297 divided by 11 which is 27 so x is the number of fountain pens so we have uh, answered the first question now for the total cost of all pens that he bought y is 50 minus x 50 minus 27 because x is 27 so it gives you y the number of uh, gel pens is 23 the total calls of all pens that he bought would be 6x plus 5y and that is equal to 6 times 27 plus 5 times 23 which is 277 dollars all right hope this was helpful thank you have a great day bye